The SmartLink Network Asset Management Tool is a great resource to help you keep track of on-site assets such as water meters, valves, pumps, zone geometry, line placement, or any other items you want to track. You will find the SmartLink Asset Management Tool by navigating to one of your sites and hitting the Assets tab at the top of the page. The Assets page is divided into two main sections. At the top, you will see a map showing the location of any tagged assets, and you'll see a list of the assets down below. In this example, we haven't tagged any assets yet. To add a sample asset, let's hit the Add Asset button at the top, and you will see the Add Asset dialog appear, as well as some edit controls at the top of the map. All assets can be mapped in one of three ways, as a single point in space, as an enclosed shape, or as a line. Single points might represent valves or meters, shapes are useful for outlining zones, and lines might indicate main or lateral lines. For each asset we also have several values. We can include a simple name, an asset type, a color, a serial number or notes, and optionally link it to a controller or even a specific zone where that's appropriate. Let's start by adding a simple water meter. Simply click the pin icon at the top of the map and click on the map where you want the meter to be located. Next, let's provide a name, verify the type, select a color, enter a serial number, and click Save. Notice that the asset now appears both on the map and in the list below. If you click the asset on the map, you can see its information, and likewise if you click it in the list, it will be highlighted on the map. The list view area also allows us to upload files associated with this particular asset. Simply drag and drop files into the gray pane to add an image. And now this image is available for review. Next, let's add a zone outline. Hit Add Asset, select the Shape tool, and begin drawing. Simply click each corner of your zone and enclose the shape by starting back at the original vertex. Let's give it a name, select the type of zone, select a color, and let's associate it to our first zone and hit save. For our last asset, let's create a lateral line. Hit the Add Asset button and select the Line tool. Draw the line. You can add vertexes to the line by clicking once and then end the line by clicking again on the final vertex. Again, let's give it a name, select the type, select a color. In this case, we'll associate this with zone one. Notice that in the zone listing down below, we have links to our controller, an indication of our zone, our type, serial numbers and notes where appropriate. That's it for the summary of our site asset management tool. We hope you find it to be a useful addition to your landscaping toolkit.